Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today we're going to be making an Easter carrot splatter screen wreath. So I picked up my Welcome to Our Patch carrot at Dollar Tree for $3. You're going to need a $1.25 Dollar Tree splatter screen with a knob and you'll want to remove it. And you're going to need some pretty spring floral picks. And I got these fun picks from TMI Gifts. And I picked up these cute flocked Easter bunny picks at Walmart. You are also going to need some ribbon with wire for a bow. And this pretty carrot ribbon came from TMI Gifts. And then this solid orange ribbon came from Sam's Club. And you're going to need some zip ties. So I just took the branches and spread them apart. So we're going to make a big bouquet. So we're starting with the tall things in the back. Next, we're adding the tulips from Hobby Lobby. Then some picks from Dollar General, one on the left, one on the right holding tight in the center then i'm adding these pretty orange flowers from hobby lobby and just kind of fluff and spread them as you go and you can shape them more later just want it to be nice and full then i'm adding these tulip picks from walmart one on the left one on the right so this is a beautiful spring bouquet and adding one of the bunny picks from walmart and then I'm going to take a zip tie and wrap that zip tie nice and tight around my pretty bouquet. After you have the zip tie nice and tight, then you're going to want to fluff and shape your pretty bouquet of flowers. And you could, I forgot to mention, you could spray paint your splatter screen first if you wanted to. I didn't spray paint mine and it covers it beautifully, but that is always an option. I am going to be placing this bouquet on the left side of my splatter screen and then the carrots on the right side. Now I'm tying a big bow. Now that I have the bow made, I'm going to take some 20 gauge floral wire, thread it underneath the zip tie on the back of the bow. That way I can easily attach my bow. 
So just be patient. This sometimes takes a little bit of time. Now that I have the bow wires, I'm going to take my bouquet, go just above the zip tie on my bouquet, wrap the bow wires around the bouquet, then go to the back of the bouquet and twist those wires nice and tight. You want to get your bow around your bouquet and twist the wires nice and tight so it doesn't slide or move and leave your wires long. I still need to fluff and shape my flowers a little bit, but this is how it looks so far with the bow added. Looks so fun for Easter and spring. I just love the colors and I am just so proud it's finally getting a little bit warmer. My son removed the knob from the Dollar Tree slider screen from the center. Now I'm taking my wires that are on my bouquet, threading them through the splatter screen. On the left side, just take your wires, thread them through the screen to the back, pull the wires through nice and tight, make sure you get them all the way through, then twist your wires, and then you'll want to cut them short and fold them down. I did add a second wire to the top of the bouquet. That way it would stay in position straight up and down and not move. So I added two wires to the bouquet. And you'll want to use floral wire because pipe cleaners are very difficult to thread through. And zip ties, that just won't work with a splatter screen. I am going to be placing the welcome to our patch carrot sign on the right side. So I'm taking some cable tie mounts or zip tie mounts that I ordered online from Amazon. They do stick, but I'm adding a little Gorilla Glue hot glue around them just to make sure they stay. Make sure you're very careful when you use your hot glue. Let them have time to dry. Then I'm just taking some 20 gauge floral wire, threading it through, going to give it a twist. At the end of this video, I added some pictures of some of the other Easter and spring DIYs that I have done so far in 2024, and I hope you'll check out those tutorials too. Here I'm taking my carrot sign, just finding out where I want to place it. Then I'm going to take the wires on the back of the sign and just thread them through the splatter screen. Then go to the back, give them a twist, cut them off short and fold them down. And you can add some felt over the wires so they don't scratch your door or wall. You could cut a whole sheet of felt or use a Dollar Tree placemat to cover the back if you would like. And here's where my four wires are on my splatter screen. Next, just fluff and shape your flowers, kind of spread them out so that they have some movement and a whimsical look. Fluff and shape your loops on your bow. Make sure your tails are going the right direction and then you're ready to hang up your Easter carrot splatter screen wreath. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have seen me make splatter screen wreaths before, let me know in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe. I share lots of budget-friendly DIYs, shop with me videos, shopping hauls, and decorating videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I have, hope everyone has a beautiful Easter.